what is a personal brand what is it all about the secret of every successful individual especially in career uh, is how they brand themselves personal branding is the secret to immediately make yourself stand out if you're working in a in a workplace environment uh, personal branding can help you gain the respect from your coworkers your managers your boss so it event it, it essentially increases your value all right so it is the most important tool for anyone working in a company or as a freelancer or in an independent professional or even entrepreneurs if you are doing a business personal branding branding yourself can uh, give you immense benefits uh, um, in terms of your career uh i would like to point you point out uh the quotes from peter montoya um uh, he says why the personal branding is very important to grab and sustain the attention of your target audience or your uh, your your superiors in an office or a working space people are usually saturated with information employees are saturated with cvs they get bored after seeing um, uh, so many number of cvs or resumes so it is over saturated they don't even pay attention to the menu details of the cvs anymore they are looking for individuals with unique talent skills and uh, how it directly benefits their companies that is how you can make yourself stand out from the crowd by doing personal branding your voice can easily be drowned I mean like multiple other voices but if you have a very good personal brand that means your your voice is having the the better better clarity I mean like it gets the attention personal branding uh, basically depends upon where you are currently in and what stage you are currently in for example you may be a fresher for example you have uh, like 5 uh, years to 10 years of experience or you have 10 to 20 years of experience or even you have 20 plus more years of experience so doing a personal branding mainly depends upon where you are currently in and before that why uh, personal branding i have you have seen i would like to clarify that it it, it helps you to build credibility um, it helps you to convert your expertise into money in future um, uh, it, it it enables that you are a thought leader leader in your field to get high returns with minimal investment so <clears throat> all sorts of these benefits are there in personal branding um so let us start with uh, personal branding advice for freshers freshers are usually those who have recently got uh, placed or um, uh, who have very recently joined a job or within 5 years of experience so um why why actually the freshers need personal branding you are just beginning your career and why should i i i, I even plan for uh, doing a personal branding because doing personal branding can help you show your skills to the world and it is the correct time to take enough time to mature your uh, your 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 value because you are in the age of anywhere between 21 to 26 right so you got a, a ample amount of time to build a solid personal branding around yourself instead of doing all this after you like 35 years of age it is much 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 easier if you are starting your personal branding just after you have joined a job all right so it helps you to display your unique skills your talents uh, you can stand out from the large crowd of youngsters uh, who have just graduated from your college and uh, basically <clears throat> your resume or cv may have given you a job but in order to sustain the job in order to uh, progress in your job in order to get promotions in your job uh, you have to build a sustainable personal branding strategy all right so this is why you need personal branding so 
how you can do as a fresher many people ask me how can i do personal branding how can i start doing it uh, my advice is that do not spend anything that costs you money i uh, just taught something very small very very easy to maintainable i mean like create a daily habit of like spend around 30 minutes to to optimize i mean like uh, to improve your uh, social media profiles uh to create a uh, to to get introduced with uh, like i mean um, uh, similar industry experts to to connect them with linkedin or facebook so thought out the possibilities of uh, increasing your uh, uh, reputation credibility and, and more importantly try to have more connections in the same industry so uh, you can also do a uh, small certification courses like in uh, udemy or linda so these are very cheap options out there and you can start doing the certification courses and uh, these certification courses will add uh, so much credibility to your career um, uh, and also uh, help you easily to maintain your personal brand that you are you are someone who are really interested in what you are doing it it shows the world uh, kind of the image and uh, create an online presence try to have a blog or website or or be very active in facebook or even create a facebook page for your name instead of using your facebook profile you can create a facebook page for your name and uh, make it as a brand and um, uh, and uh, you can improve your soft skills like especially in terms of communication uh, you can improve the skills so these are all the uh, pro- essentially these are all the uh, the basic things that you can do as a fresher to 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 do a personal branding around you and uh, let's move to the next chapter which is personal branding for people who are 5 to 10 years of experience okay so you probably have a few years of experience at your job or maybe you have a decent number of clients that allow you to work from home or still get sometimes but have you noticed that your career growth is plateaued that means you do not have a significant growth in your career are you okay with that try to start answering these questions no right you want your career to progress you want your your career to to keep on an upper up i mean keep on growing so do not let your career remain stagnant okay uh, don't become satisfied with mediocrity aim for the stars because now is your the right time now now is the time where your skills start shining unless you are showing your skills to the outside world people will never able to realize or people will be never able to know that you are this person and you are you are in this industry and you have this much knowledge okay so don't let your genius race ahead of you in this fast changing world uh, you must you must face the fact that even some of your juniors if you don't i mean even if they don't have the right skills they may uh, get the promotions much earlier than you the main reason is because that they are ex- they are getting their skills exposed by their surroundings to their surroundings okay so you need to take personal branding very seriously so why you need personal branding or how to start branding yourself you can get promotions that you have waited for the the last 5 or 7 or 8 years uh you can be selected by rival companies and your salary potential can be even up to two times or three times of your current salary uh to get yourself a mag- makeover that uh you are a leader you are a thought leader you are an expert in what you are doing uh you can use your experience experience to become the go to persons in your domain uh prepare yourself for uh maybe you can do you can start your own consulting business in future so you can do all this by having a proper personal branding strategy and now uh let's see personal branding for the experts those people who have uh 10 to 20 years of experience so let's face it there is only so much you can do when you are work for a company right the career growth 
plateaus and even when you are in a top position you may not progress further or you and even you may feel that you have already reached the top and there is nowhere else to go you no longer have to work to earn and instead be paid for your advices knowledge skills and talents you have acquired so the the so you don't need to become a cynical to uh, career growth there is still a plenty of room for that you have to realize it discover opportunities you do not know existed offer paid consulting services to top notch clients get others leaders to seek your advice enjoy your hard earned services and celebrity status and uh, more importantly personal branding will help you fund all your dreams you can you can have your like you may have you may be thinking about starting your own uh, consulting business or you may be thinking about um, uh, speaking at an event conferences be invited by the uh, for the big conferences that are happening around you so it can it can take you places okay so personal branding will help you fund all your dreams you can discover dreams and opportunities you did not even know existed it is time now to brand yourself as a consultant your time is money all right so leaders from different domains will now approach you for advices and solutions and pay you handsomely for that please remember that is a very good opportunity for you to leverage because if you are not doing this you might be retiring without giving back to the society you no longer have to work or wait for someone to appreciate your hard work all right um so how you can actually build personal branding for you now now at this stage at this juncture you have enough money but you still need more you are an expert in your area but your job does not let you progress um you have a fan following but your career is going nowhere um you can internalize your outlook uh, you can get an authority status and enjoy that by leveraging your authority status into money um, you or the real deal when it actually comes to your domain but you feel stuck so how you can actually break away from this money is a huge concern not not, not that much but maybe you the level of personal branding you are trying to do maybe it may be a concern to achieve all your material dreams and success uh, do not limit yourself uh, to a top level job at your company um write an actual book about your expertise because writing an ebook is an abs- ab- i mean wonderful opportunity for you to get the word out of there uh choose your speaking opportunities carefully because do not le- do not be visible everywhere uh, these, day- these day- these those days are long gone use your fan following to build your network further um you can consider opportunities overseas uh, to take your consulting business further you can internalize your outlook now uh, you can use your celebrity status you can enjoy the authority status and power you can do all the sort of things that um, the the a real expert will be doing now let's see the personal branding for people with 20 plus years of experience now you might have arrived at a stage in life where most people can never reach you must be very proud of that you are not just a leader or celebrity you are the epitome of success and accomplishment in your for less do you want to waste your entire life's effort and achievements in the hands of someone else or would you like to take lead and help yourself now is the right time to mentor to inspire and to help create leaders of tomorrow you can even start high ticket coaching mentoring uh you can in, even indulge in philanthropy philanthropy is both heart fulfilling thing and also can get you a lot of personal branding you embody success and accomplishment but you have reached a dead end you are feeling like that most people already recognize you and you are a leader and celebrity in domain personal branding can allow you to truly achieve self actualization establish yourself as a philanthropist be worthy of respect be invited as a chief guest or speaker at prestigious event um help lead the leaders of tomorrow put your experience and wisdom to work so you can like can literally achieve all this if you are doing the personal branding in a proper way
So how you can build personal branding at this stage? You can choose your career carefully, sorry, uh, choose causes carefully that aligns with your interest and personality. If you have strongly felt about a certain case and you wish to make a difference, now is the right time. Philanthropy does not have to come from your pocket. You just need to use your influence and position to make more wealth that can be directed, diverted towards the causes you care about. In fact, philanthropy activities are powerful ingredients of a personal branding initiative. Use the wealth you generate by speaking, coaching and mentoring to improve the world around you. Giving back is after all the human nature. Launch events and get written about in local media. Public relations work wonders for one's personal branding. It is truly a time for personal fulfillment and self-actualization. Use personal branding initiatives to feel good about yourself. So I would like to point out some uh, important rules for your personal branding success. You have to start soon because personal, the number one rule is you have to start soon. Personal branding works best when you start early. Here is the secret. If you start when you are a fresher, you will probably reach the level of philanthropies in half the time of others will. So don't postpone your success. Set aside a personal branding budget because budget is very important. Uh, personal branding, of course, costs you money. The trick is to start small and build it up as you get successful. Get an image makeover. Appearances matter, guys. And if you are if you are not comfortable in a certain manner in front of a camera or in front of others, try to adjust and tweak your looks and makeovers. Use technology because technology makes it easy for everyone to brand themselves and have an audience. Use it very smartly. Hire the professionals. When you brand yourself, appearing professional is part of ex exercise. You cannot do this without professional help. Get your content written, pictures edited, photos taken by professionals and try to keep everything in a, in a, in a very attractive way. Acquire new skills. Acquiring new skills is the single most important thing that you can do as a, I mean, as a, as a, as a, uh, to improve your career's growth. If you do not acquire new skills, then your career's growth will stagnate. Be humble. Personal branding will bring you success. However, do not become so much proud, arrogant or brag about it when you are successful. The moment that happens, your branding will fail. Don't spread yourself thin. Do not try to be everything. Identify your niche skills. Customize your personal branding around these areas. Identify causes. You can start philanthropy even at the stage of a fresher. Identify causes that matter to you and start donating or doing something good. This will definitely pay you back in the future. Never stop branding yourself. Personal branding is not a one-time exercise. You have to do it consistently on a long term. You need to in continuously invest in it and engage in it. So, so this is a this is a quick overview of what personal branding is and and how you can do based upon where you are actually doing in your life. So, I hope this video helps. If you want any more advices or um, if you have any, any new ideas for uh, doing new videos. Please do post it in comments. Thank you.